Welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob. This is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the three pillars of trading success. In my opinion, there's three things that every single trader has in common when they are consistently profitable. And this is something that you're going to have to do if you want to be profitable. There's not one of these things that you can't do because each and every one of them is so crucial to being a consistently profitable trader. And I'm going to be going over each one of these in a little bit of depth, not too much, but enough that you can go away from this video and apply something to your own trading. So let's just uh, let's go up here, get a little blank slate. So you've got three things, and what I'll do is I'll I guess I could draw a triangle. So you've got three points to trading success. So let's actually I'm not going to write that right success in the middle. Um, there you go, success. So you've got three things, and the first one is you need a strategy. Everyone knows that you need a strategy, and. I've got four points from the strategy. Obviously there is more, um, but these are kind of the base things. So depending on how long you've been trading and how much you understand of the markets, this is going to be easier or maybe more tricky for you. So you need something that you can follow and that makes sense to you because you need to have a strategy that makes sense to you and that you can follow every single day because if the strategy isn't going to make sense to you and you don't know why something is happening you're not going to have trust you're not going to have faith in that strategy to actually follow it in the first place and the next point is you need something that's personalized to you so you need to maybe you find a strategy online Maybe you take one from our YouTube channel um, or maybe our group mentoring sessions, but you need to change it just a little bit so that it is personalized to you and maybe, I don't know, maybe you add an EMA or maybe you add round numbers to it. Maybe you add a RSI indicator, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. You need to make it personalized to you so that you can have trust in it and you feel like it's yours. Um, maybe you add fundamentals um, and that kind of leads on to the next one, which is you need to have, well, well, you don't need to have, but maybe you have technicals only, maybe you have fundamentals only, or maybe you combine both of them, but you need to have elements to your strategy that you have confidence in. So maybe your 80% technical and you want to add that 20% of fundamental just to drive the the bias of the week of the month of the day of the hour whatever it is just to have that kind of bias to give you the confidence to go into those trades and the next one is my opinion but it's something that I think most traders need to have, which is a win rate of over 50%. And the reason for this is mainly to have confidence in your own strategy that more often than not, you're going to be profitable on that trade because that's just mainly the psychology of it. Because if you're going into trades and you think, maybe I'm not going to be profitable on this, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Like it's, it's just one of those things where you can have confidence in your strategy, knowing that you've done your back testing and you found that you have a higher win rate than 50%. Now that is obviously a personal thing. And there are traders out there that do trade with a lower percentage than 50%. But I just think for the majority, 50% is a good way. So that's kind of the strategy sorted. 
The next one is money management. So I'll put that up here, money management. But there's also obviously the risk management or yeah, risk management, I guess. So risk management, without this, you're going to fail. doesn't matter what. You could have a 90% win rate strategy and still mess it up because your win rate, not your win rate, your money management is not good enough. You need to be risking the same every single trade. I know that there's traders out there that don't do this and there's traders that scale in and, you know, more advanced stuff. But if you're looking to just have a basic strategy, a basic thing that can work, you need to be risking the same every single trade because I, most traders are going to be risking one, two, maybe three percent per trade anything above that and you're kind of getting into the realm of blowing accounts up and it's it's yeah you can't you can't be risking 10 percent per trade you just can't you're gonna a psychology is going to come into it emotions are going to come into it and you're just going to blow your account your account's going to look like this and who wants something like this I'd rather have something like this, you know, over a hundred trades instead of this. And this one will always end up doing this and blowing the account. So yeah, mi mi la la la. money management. Um, something that does lead on to this is capital. Now I know that there's a lot of traders out there that struggle with actually getting the amount of, of capital that they want. Let's say you have a thousand pounds. What is that? Let's say you have a thousand pounds. And you want to quit your job. And the average wage is something 17 or something, I think. Which means that you're going to have to 17x your original account you're gonna have to make 1700 percent which is just ridiculous like you're gonna have to make a ridiculous percentage in a year to get to that 17k and that's not even before taxes so it's just you can't you can't start with a thousand pounds and expect to make or quit your job within a year because it's just not realistic you let's say you're you're you got a win rate of 50% okay so 50% win rate risking 1% per trade i mean you're making 500 quid in a year somewhere around that so I think it's important to just have perspective and have an understanding that you're not going to be quitting your job in a year if you start with a thousand pounds, even 5,000, even 10,000 pounds. You shouldn't be thinking about quitting your job if you have a 10,000 pounds because it's just it's just not realistic if you're one of the one of the best traders if you're a really really good trader then maybe but if if you're making five percent a month maybe five percent a month is good on average but like from one month to 12 months your average is five percent then yeah maybe maybe you could look at this but otherwise just forget this and just try and build up to it over the years and slowly do it so that was kind of a little ramble but um yeah you need to have a long-term view the the final one is discipline and patience and this is the one that most traders struggle with and this is the one that leads into this that blows the account that goes against the strategy because, you know, you're not following your discipline. 
Discipline and patience are massively interlinked. And if you don't have the patience to follow your strategy, you're going to blow the account because you're going to be risking 10% per trade. So you need to have a strategy that you can follow for months, for years. And you need to build in routines and build the discipline inside and outside of trading so that you can follow the plan for the years. You need to be consistent inside and outside of trading. So if you wake up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning every day, you need to wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. every single day. Because if you can't find discipline outside of trading, there's no way you're going to be able to find discipline inside of trading because you've got money on the line. You've got to follow a strategy. Make sure that you follow risk management rules and have discipline and have patience just to maybe make a few percent a month. It's not going to happen. If you can't wake up at the same time every single day, why are you even trading? You need to make sure that you have consistency outside of trading before you even start going on a live account. You can go on a demo account, that's fine. But don't start thinking that you're going to find discipline and patience and consistency inside of trading if you don't have it outside of trading. Work on yourself outside of trading first, build the routines, build the discipline, build the consistency and then come into trading. Try and find the uh, prop firm or a private investor, give you some capital and then work on building a strategy that can get you out of the job. Don't just come into trading for a month, put in a thousand pound and expect to quit the job in six months. It's not going to happen. Just forget it. I don't care how good you are or how good you think you are. It's not going to happen. If you've been trading for 20 years and you've done it, you know, before and you've, you've traded capital, large amounts of capital and you are profitable over the 20 years, then yeah, go ahead, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to because I haven't been trading 20 years. So yeah, I'm talking to people that have been trading for a year two years, three years maybe, just don't have the short term thing, mindset. You need to have the long term mindset and these three things, if you can work on these three things, you're going to be profitable and you're going to find trading success. Now, which one of these would I say work on first if you're not profitable at the moment? It's got to be this. It has to be this. You have to work on yourself outside of trading first to be able to be profitable inside of trading. So what I might do is try and make a video in the next kind of a week or so that can go into in depth on how you can create consistency outside of your trading. And then a plan once you've found the consistency to then go into trading and be consistent in trading. Um, if that's something you guys want to see, comment below. Maybe if this video gets 10 likes, 15 likes, whatever, then I'll make the video. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, you know, if you guys don't want to see that, then I won't because I don't want to be putting in hours and hours of work for something that you guys don't want to see. So comment below what you guys would like to see on the channel um, and I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to subscribe, hit the like button and comment below and I'll see you in the next video.